You will never unsee this. The scout's animations in the loadout screen don't have inverse kinematics enabled, which makes his hand clip into the weapon, most obviously with the pistol. This is because for some reason, out of the 9 classes, only for the scout are the base animations just a still pose, with a breathing animation layered on top. For every other class, the breathing is baked into the base animation. There's nothing particularly wrong with doing it this way, and it looks fine, but it causes the left hand to bob out a sink with the weapon, making it slide around and clip. But that's actually okay, because TF2 animations can use inverse kinematics. This basically means the animator can attach a limb to a specific point, so you can attach the scout's left hand to the weapon. In-game, the scout's hands look perfectly fine, but it won't look fine when inverse kinematics are not on, such as the loadout screen, hence the clipping. The other classes do also use inverse kinematics to position their hands properly, but they're not clipping basically because the animator cared to make them look good in the neutral look forward angle without inverse kinematics, rather than layering it on a static pose and hoping for the best. But they also gave up with the medigun. This has been in the game since loadouts were added in 2008. Bonus fact, a shortcut Valve used when creating animations for the MVM robots is to fill in the gaps by copying over the human animations, which is why the robot heavy's shotgun idol is very human. When they did this for Scout, they didn't add the breathing layer, so if a robot Scout is idling with the pistol out, he's just completely still. Oh, also the tags are broken on some animations, but that's in both loadout and game. The Bachelor of Fine Arts